Hello and welcome to this fingerless glove tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to make these gloves step by step and they are so cute with the little yo-yos in it. We have a small slot here for your thumbs and ribbing for cuffs. Come join me as we make our fingerless gloves together. The yarns that we will be using to make these fingerless gloves is Red Heart Super Saver in the color Real Teal. Another one by Red Heart is called Hello Gorgeous and the color is Orchid Blossom. I love these colors here. <laughs> We're going to need a pair of scissors, a large eye tapestry needle, a hook, H8 5.00 millimeter. We're going to begin with our color of real teal, but before we begin, let's pull some yarn out from the skein. I usually use the center pull because I find it easier to work instead of having to unroll it as I go along. The reason why is because I want my tension to stay the same as I do my crocheting. I'm going to start with a tail that's about four to six inches. Place a slip knot on the hook and let's chain 27 and then uh, we're going to slip knot or slip stitch into the first chain. So here I have three, four, five. Continue on until you have 27. After we have our 27 chains, let's make sure our chain is straight. Bring the bottom over and let's create a circle. Insert the hook into the first chain. Bring your working yarn up and through the two loops on the hook, making a slip stitch, then chain three. One, two, three. Okay, and I'm also going to take my tail here and I will be weaving it under as I go around. So we can see right here is where we made our slip stitch. So let's go into the next stitch and place one double crochet. And then the next one, a double crochet. Continue on with double crochets all the way around till you get to the end of the ring. With the chain three counting as a double crochet, we added on 26 double crochets. So we have a total of 27 here. Let's go ahead and slip stitch through that top chain. And chain three. One, two, three. We're going to do the same thing again for this row and the next row. So we're going to one double crochet all the way around, slip stitch into the top, chain three, and the second row. So do it for two more rows, and I'll meet you at the end of those two rows. Please pause your video. So after we've completed the three rows and we've slip stitched closed, I'm going to cut our yarn, pull it through. Okay, try it on to make sure it fits. We're going to go right here because the yo-yos are going to be going in this direction here. Looks like it fits me, no problem. Um, go ahead and get out your variegated yarn 
and let's get started for our yo-yos. I hope you had a chance to visit me with the um, hat and scarf and that would help make the yo-yo making easier for you but if you haven't and all you would like to make is the fingerless gloves let's move on so we're going to start off with a slip knot chain three let's make that first one a little bit bigger one two three at the top of your chain three pinch it so you can't see any more stitches and chain four slip stitch into the first chain of the four now we're going to slip stitch back to the slip knot by doing a slip stitch in each chain one it's a little clumbersome because there's not really much to hold on to but just take your time like me and you'll do just fine there we go here's our third one and this is what we have let's go ahead and pivot our work to the left now I'm going to take my tail and put it underneath my work So now we want to find the center of the ring that we just made. It does take a little finagling, but it is there. There it is. So we're going to yarn over. I'm going to take a, pick up my tail at the same time and drop a loop. And we're going to complete a double crochet. Let's add two more double crochet. One and two. At the end, enlarge your loop just a little bit and let's slide our work over. Now trying to keep our work straight so that the right side is facing us, let's bring over our little cuff here now we're going to make it so that this is going to be on the side with our thumb. So let's come over. Here's our chain. We want to come over one, two, and into the third stitch right here. Let's take our hoop, our uh, take our hook and go through the loop. Pick up the loop from our yo-yo and pull it through. Make sure you hold it so it doesn't twist. Tighten that loop just so that it, it meets to the hook so that it's not tight. Then yarn over, insert the hook back into the chain four circle, draw up a loop and complete a double crochet. And this is what we have so far. Let's continue on. We're going to add two more double crochet to the chain four ring. There's one and there's two. Okay, so this is how we're starting already. Let's go on to our second yo-yo. Chain three, one, two, three, Place your thumb over that third chain and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Slip stitch into the first chain of the four and then slip stitch in each chain back towards the first yo-yo. And try and keep your slip stitches loose because if it's too tight then it'll pull and cause your yo-yo to pucker. Okay, then we're going to turn our work. Now 
And we're going to find that hole in the chain four again. Take your time with it. You don't want to pick up just one string of yarn because that it won't look right. So yarn over, insert your hook into the center of that chain four, and we're going to complete three double crochets. Okay, enlarge your loop, take your hook out of that loop. Let's go back to our cuff here. We have our first one, so we're going to count over one, two, three, four, and into the fifth stitch over. We're going to insert our hook. We're going to pick up that loop, pull it through. We're going to tighten our loop just a little bit, not too tight, but just enough so that it'll close up on it. We're going to place three double crochets into the chain four ring. One, two, and one more makes three. And then grab your stitches and stretch that chain four out a little bit. We're going to be adding more stitches on our way back. So here we have two of them that are completed or halfway done. Let's do it one more time and then I'm going to let you do two of them on your own. So we're going to start off with chain three, one, two, three, pinch the top of the chain three, chain four, one, two, three, and four. Slip stitch into the first of the four chains, slip stitch in each chain back to the previous yo-yo three times. Okay, and pivot your work. Find the center of your chain four circle. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Enlarge your loop. Take your hook out. Here's our last uh, stitch we put in. Count over five. One, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook. Pull the loop through. Snug up the loop. Not too tight. And then three double crochets into the chain four ring. I guess you can see why I chose these colors. The teal and the fuchsia are my favorite colors. <laughs> yes, I'm giving a secret out. <laughs> so, go ahead and do the next two by yourself. And I will meet you when you complete the second half of that fifth yo-yo. Because we're going to be placing five yo-yos on here. Alright, so pause your video. And I'll meet you in a minute. So how did you do? I hope you did really well. Here we have our five yo-yos attached. Now at the end here, we are not going to connect them. We're going to leave them unconnected. So now that means that we're going to be coming back this direction. So what I'd like for you to do is into the top half of the chain four here, we're going to place six double crochet into that ring. One, 
two, three, four, five, and six. In between our two yo-yos is the slip stitch chain stitch area. We're going to place a single crochet over that. So we're going to take our hook and just go into the open hole, come up, grab a loop of yarn, snug it down just a little bit, and finish as a single crochet. And then go directly into the next chain four ring on the next yo-yo and place six double crochets into that same ring. Two, three, four, five, and six. And as before, place a single crochet in between the two yo-yos. Go under, pull up a loop, snug it up, and complete that yo-yo, I mean that single crochet. Okay, after you get to the end of your row, we want to kind of work with that yo-yo, make it look more fuller as a circle. And then we're going to continue on. So I'm going to encourage you, there's three of them left, place the six double crochets and single crochet in between them. I'll meet you at the end of the row. On your last yo-yo, after you have placed your six, come out here and pick up part of that chain and complete a slip stitch. Leave a small tail for sewing in your end and finish it off. Okay, and this is what we have so far. Our whole opening here will be slightly closed by our next set of stitching. Get your teal ready, and we'll start on our next row. Before we start this next row, to make things a lot easier, let's take our needle and thread our needle and we're going to take for the uh, variegated yarn or for the yo-yo, we're going to go back to the center and then go through the center portion of those double crochet stitches. Remember to work your yarn to ease the, the threaded uh, tail in. And then we're going to go back over and under, and now we're going to cut the yarn. Okay, do the same to the teal, and you'll want to go up and down. Now, with a slip knot on our hook, We're going to start this out just a little bit different. So we're going to count over one, two, and three and make a slip knot. Whoops, I grabbed my tail. <laughs> and we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. Okay, chain two. Make your loop a little bit larger. Come up and let's count one, two, and there's the third one. Insert your hook. Pick up your loop from your chain. Pull it through and then snug it down. Not too tight. Then we're going to chain one, two, three. Yeah, you can have like a nice little finished edge here. 
Okay, then we're going to go this way towards our left. So we want to chain one, two, and three. We're going to skip one, two, and three, and we're going to insert our hook and do a completed slip stitch. So this is what we will have here. We want to chain five because we have five stitches from here to here. So here we have one, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to go ahead and from this single crochet, we got one, two, our third double crochet, and we're going to slip stitch. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and go over to the next yo yo. One, two, and three. We're going to slip stitch. Chain five. To our next yo yo, up three from that slips or from that single crochet, make a slip stitch, chain five, two, three, four, five, and here we are on our last one, two, three. Okay, so here we have one, two, three. So here we're going to also do one, two, three and then slip stitch into the third chain. You want to pick up two loops of that chain too, by the way. Okay. Oops, I made a mistake. Let's go back. <laughs> We're going to do the three, but instead we have one stitch to make. You're going to get a kick out of this one. <laughs> Okay, wrap it twice, insert the hook into the same one you did the slip stitch into, pull up a loop, wrap twice, and then we're going to count back over one, two, and three. Okay, one, two, and three. Pull up a loop. So here we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on our hook, and we're just going to go through two, go through two, go through two, whoops, I went through three there, go through two, go through two, and go through two. And that'll bring us to the same height as our next one. We're going to chain two and slip stitch into the top of that chain three. So I'm sorry I confused you before. I didn't want to do that. But this is our thumb hole opening. Let me pull my hook out so you can see. So this will be our thumb hole opening. And this is what we have so far. I love it. <laughs> All right. Moving on, chain three, one, two, three. We're going to do a double crochet in each one of the chains. Now the one that is a slip stitch, we're not going to put a stitch in that. We're going to skip over that. At the end of the row, you want to make sure you have 26 added on double crochets and 27 would be the chain three. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start you off. Here's one double crochet. Here's two. Okay, I'm going to slip that, skip that slip stitch and then into the next. 
all right and continue on all the way around well, I'm glad my counting was right I got 27 so I added 26 double crochets plus the chain one gives me 27 yay woohoo <laughs> so let's slip stitch into the top of the chain three chain three and we're going to add one more row of double crochets now before you move on to that one more row I would like for you to do a couple of them okay and then try it on make sure that's going to meet where you want it to and mine will meet right here at the bottom so it will come right across here and that's where I want it to meet at so I know I will be able to fit on this if you feel it's too much you can do a half double crochet or a single crochet row or if it's not long enough you can also add another row on top of that it's of your personal choice at this time so continue all the way around when you get to the end of the row uh, slip stitch into the top of the chain three cut your yarn and finish it off so here's what our little guy looks like so far there is no determination for right or left, which makes it really simple. So you can just grab it and put on if you need to. So the last thing we are going to do is to do the wrist cuff. So with a slip knot on our hook, Let's go ahead and start where the slip stitch to the top of the chain three is. Tighten all those chains up and chain three. Okay. Now we want an even number of stitches on this row. So we are looking for 28 stitches. So as you count around, some place where you think you can add that one extra stitch, even if it's at the beginning of the row, the end of the row, in the middle of the row, wherever you want it, including this chain three, we need 28 double crochet totals around. So go ahead and start placing your double crochets in and that one place you think you can squeeze just that one extra one that's what we need to do so go ahead and do that and i'll meet you at the end of the row did you get your 28 in i did i did mine at the end of the row so now we're going to chain three. Oh. Remember to slip stitch into the top of the chain three of that previous row. Then we're going to be doing front post and back post double crochets. Woohoo, I know you love doing that. So yarn over. We're going to start off with the one in the front. Draw up a loop. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. Our next one we're going to go through the back side. So coming in from the back, go over the top of that post, go out the back, bring the yarn through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Now we're going to repeat front and back all over again. So here's front post and here's back post. Right. The secret is this is going to be the uh, back post, the chain. It'll be the back. So your last stitch should be a front post double crochet. If it's not, then somewhere in your count you're off. Okay. So we're going to do this for a total of five rows. That includes the first one we just did. So go ahead and do that. Slip stitch at the end and always start with a front post on each row. And the last one before the chain is also a front post. 
do that and I'll see you in a few minutes. So now that we have our one finished fingerless glove, we need one for our other hand. So through the magic of video, here is my second one. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you wear your gloves and enjoy them. Uh, I come about with fingerless gloves because I ride motorcycles and I love the feeling of having my fingers free in order to control whatever it is I'm doing. But yet on those very, very, very cold rides, I have to cover my fingers with full fingered gloves. But Otherwise, I love my fingerless gloves. So I hope you love yours. Thank you for being with me at this time. I hope you come back. And let me show you something else here. I have the scarf. Here's, here's the scarf with our little yo-yo trim. Okay, and hang on just a second. Here I have for you our yo-yo hat. So with this little set right here, the hat, the fingerless gloves, and the scarf, it will help you to have your accessories all matching. The yo-yo hat and the yo-yo scarf are two separate videos on my channel please check them out. The link is in the description box or you can go to my channel, Garnet is a Jewel. So, thank you for being with me at this time. I hope you have a safe and wonderful, cool season. Till next time, bye-bye.